Greetings and salutations, I am Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Victoria 2 as the Russian Empire. Where we are at war with Ethiopia and we've slowly started industrializing. Very slowly. And we'll see how this pans out. I'm also building a naval base in Zanzibar. I'm thinking about pushing into some other state over here. I mean a colonial concession on Brunei. Wouldn't be impossible. Or an AK for that matter. That would certainly bring us on collision course with the Netherlands, but... Uh, yeah, we'll see. Then again, we're carving out a little empire of our own over here. And uh, that's gonna be... Uh, how are we doing on war score now? 10 war score. You'd... Uh, Cave at okay. In that case, we're just gonna push on. I think. I think they'll cave pretty quickly, without even firing a shot, and that's fine with me. I want them to preserve their army because if they take more provinces from Egypt, who we, who we are very very friendly with. Uh, yeah, well, that's good news for us overall. Uh, so many messages. We have a larger army, so we should occupy the provinces quicker. And that's fine. Why are there troops in Djibouti? Oh. As soon as 1870 year old spy, we're gonna have to research machine guns. Have to be careful about that. many days until the first factory comes online and by then we'll see if we can get people to actually do as we wish. Uh, Ethiopia is done. Lovely. Uh, yep. Thank you for that. We'll take your chunk. Take that and be happy. So, Oman. When does our truce with you expire? 1865. Uh, that's still a while, a while ago, a while too. And you're still in the United States sphere, so there's nothing we can do there unless we kick them out of their sphere. Which is what we're trying to do. Yeah, so we're basically forcing Ethiopia to migrate north. Fine by me. Mm. Yeah, okay, so I suppose we're gonna wait for some other land, or we can even. Do we want to go with a case in the Sun CV generation on Portugal? No, we can't because they're protected by Spain. Darn it. Disloyal regiment? What? So let's see, all population in Russian Zanzibar. Gain four militancy, or we drop a prestige and two militancy. <sighs> Fine, we take the, take the high road there. Cost us a prestige point, but okay. Oh, oh, we can do something. Uh, Xinjiang. Well, we don't really want to add them to our sphere. We just want to have so much influence over them that we can basically boot out uh, someone else, like, say, uh... Wait, you decided to go, to go neutral. Well then, never mind. I thought they were boosting up their relations with them. Ah, well. So, why can't we do anything here? Our ambassador has been banned. Thank you so much, Italy. You're just giving giving them over to the United Kingdom, aren't you? And you're also trying to get them into your sphere. That's why. Uh. And we can't do anything with them since we have still have a truce. Nobody got banned there, too. Yeah, you can definitely tell that both of them, they, they all really want to get these nations and their spheres so we can build the canal. 
If this goes on, I'm just might declare a colonial war on Egypt and grab. I mean, could I even do that? Let's see, they're partially westernized. Let me find someone who's partially westernized. Uh, like, I don't know, China? No, you're still uncivilized. What about Japan? Have you started westernizing? You already have. Wow. Korea? Uncivilized. Uncivilized, primitive. There must be some partly civilized westernized nation that I'm not already allied to. Apparently not. They're all uncivilized. And these nations are primitive and I couldn't even attack them if I wanted to because they're part of China. Uh, uncivilized, primitive, primitive. Yeah, the only one in... Uh, Okay, so it's, they're in the, the Italian sphere. Well, that's not gonna last for long. Um, I want that iron. Dig it up. Oh, I completely forgot. We're still at war! Do. Um... No, we're not. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, scatterbrain. That's me. Sorry. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What else? We're still building the factories. And we're just waiting. Uh, starting to wonder, should we... Yeah. We might just have to declare war on Egypt on our own here. I mean, they love us, but... Uh, Yeah, that's fine. I'll just wait for that second when they, these two have uh, placed each other out. How long until the embassy is unbanned? Another month. Yeah, and Britain is just gunning for us. So we're just gonna make Egypt hate us. Why is this symbol suddenly changed? Is it because we've spent all our influence? No, that can't be it. Ah, uh, do we want this fear sing jing sing jan, though? I'm thinking we're just gonna do that into nothing. Because we don't really have to, and it'll probably drop a few points soon. So, Egypt. Yeah, we'll do this. I don't think we can win them, so... We'll find another way. Cholera? No! Bad news. Okay, Italy, you are allied to Germany. Of course you are. Germany is allied to Italy and the Ottomans. Allied to everyone. Except whom I care about. Uh. Yeah, so I can't really fight Italy. But I can't fight... Do this. It's going to be a nice balance. Uh, decrease relations again. So even though our relations are poor, we'll see. And we still have to go all the way up to friendly in order to discredit the Italians. Oh my, what the hell was that? Uh. Oh, the factory is finished. And. 
Now they go into Valley of Kings because... Did we lose the modifier then? No, we still have the Egyptian excavations. But yeah, I'm thinking about going to war just to secure the canal. That's Sinai, yeah. Declare war for Sinai. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, cement factory and lumber mill. There we go. Well, if I could only see it. That's Bryansk, not where I want to click, darn it. Our first factory. Factories, and we don't really have much in terms of employees. And yeah, we're gonna subsidize this factory. No point in expanding it just yet, I think. Less than Kiev, right, that was the other one. Uh, can I sort by number of factories? There we go. One factory in Kiev, one factory in Moscow. They should start switching jobs now. I mean, the factories exist. Of course, they're also losing money, but... Uh, can't have everything, I suppose. Um, yeah, we need another factory. What are we going to build? We're building a steel mill there. Let's check our argue opt. What are we actually importing in terms of finished good? Top import good wine. Okay, so we want a factory for wine. Uh, we are building a glass factory. You need glass and fruit. So a province that produces coal and fruit. Well, fruit is kind of rare. Uh, oh, 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 we found a fruit province. Of course, that's... Yeah, actually, that is within our territory. That's Moldavia, but... Uh, these two are ours. There's some fruit way down there. And that's about it. Um, let's see, that's fruit, and this is which province? Bujak. So not a coal province. And these are also in the kind of in, kind of in bad spots. Um I'm thinking, well, we're already producing glass in Kiev. I think we, that's where we built a glass factory, yeah. We're gonna build a winery as well. There we go. Cost us a fair bit. Other than that, let's see. Production. Let's think about this. We probably want a fabric factory at some point. And for that, we're going to need... What? Ugh. I never remember. Fabric, you're going to need a lot of cotton and some dye. I don't think we have much in terms of dyes, but uh, cotton. Let's see, cotton, cotton, cotton. Now there's some cotton over here. That's not much at all. This is in Mongolia. That's our only cotton. Oh dear. Well, unless you count the New World, which doesn't really matter. And then you have dyes, which I do not believe exists much outside India. Isn't it in India? There we go, dies. 
Yeah, that's pretty much all southern India. Yeah, so fabric, not really a factory we'll be able to produce much of. Not yet, anyway. What else? What else? What can we build? Luxury clothes require silk and regular clothes. Uh, luxury furniture, yeah, that's the same thing as steel mills. Coal and iron. Small arms factory. Uh, da, da, da. Mm, that could be useful. Paper requires... Do they take timber, not lumber? Am I seeing that right? Paper mills. Yeah. Raw timber. No one says lumber. Why am I seeing the same icon? That must be because I'm blind here. But I think the icon looks similar. Enough to miss a mix up. Um, where are the two? Uh, timber and lumber. That's the timber, and the lumber is. What the bugger are you? Industrial goods. quite a bit of paper. One of our biggest exports are still timber, grain and cattle. Um, yeah, well, we are producing a metric ton of timber, certainly. And we produce quite a bit of wool, a fair bit of grain, but we're actually... Yeah, I don't know. Let's see trade imports. That's the thing. We just want to try to be self self sufficient as much as possible. So let's see here. We are What are we importing and exporting? How do I see this? Ah Regular clothes are in high demand. Fabric is in high demand. So we have no provinces that actually produce uh, cotton or or dyes. I'm gonna go with population in this case. Our most populous provinces. Well, Kiev is kind of busy producing other things. I think. So let's see, Kiev, 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 Kiev. Yeah, I already set up three factories there. I kind of don't want to go with even more. Sakhalin. Why do you have so many capitalists? And are those workers actually in Sakhalin? Oh, they're all over the place. Ugh. Um. Okay, where do we have lots of capitalists? Russian Upper Otkotsk. Whoa. That's quite a few. Uh, where the heck is this? Okotsk. Well, that's probably way out east. Oh, yeah. That was, that was where we built a naval base. Um, so, for some reason, here, there are a ton of capitalists. That's what you told me. Russian Uprotkotsk. There they are. 
Okay, so in this upper Okotsk, what are you producing? You're producing... Uh, some grain, not much. Grain and fish. Uh, not really. No, I think I want to keep my industrialization over here yet. Uh, yeah. For now. I'm going to go with St. Petersburg. We need a factory here. And you are producing... Grain. More grain. Even more grain. Pretty much just grain in St. Petersburg. Um, let's see. That would be liquor. Unless there's something else that needs grain. I don't think that's any other factory that takes grain other than the liquor. Well, the canned goods, of course, but... Uh, We're gonna open a liquor distillery here. That's 10,000. Oh. Okay, a liquor distillery. Ingria. Yeah, that's the right province. Ugh. Be confused. Yes. Uh, is that actually also the most populous one? And let's check the population again. Kiev, Moscow, Kursk, Kazan. Bryansk. Kazan is probably the next one. No, Kursk, actually. Kursk. Kursk, which is pretty much the industrial area. Here we go, Kursk. What do you have? You have... Grain. And timber. And more grain. Oh, are the only... Four provinces. These four provinces. So that's three with grain and one timber. Hmm. Probably not the ideal place for what I'm thinking about, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. I'm gonna make a. F uh, da, 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 where are you? Fabric. Since we don't. The inputs aren't there, but. Uh, yeah. They aren't anywhere in our country, really. Didn't I start a steel mill somewhere? Oh, I didn't start a steel mill! Um, I thought I did. We'll have to do that. Uh, that was up in Urals here. Yeah, you have... Steel and coal. Yeah, you have steel mill. In the middle of nowhere, it's gonna cost a lot of money. Do it anyway. So, Egypt. Now we are at the place where we can actually declare war. And we need to be ready because I suspect that the second uh, the British influence goes up here. They are gonna... Did they stop? Oh sure, now you stop! Uh, you bastard. You're, you're, you're fine with that being an Italian spear. Not ours. Uh, yeah, we can demand concession from them, but... Uh, that would bring us to war with Italy. So we have to be a bit careful here. We're still gonna improve relations here. We're gonna have to play the long game. And just wait. I hate playing the long game, but <laughs> I don't think I have a, a choice here. Uh, enable base in Zanzibar. Lovely. That means we're gonna increase it even further. There we go. Glass factory is done. It's gonna be interesting to see if these factories actually make a buck. They certainly are getting employees, that's very good. France fears our might. But we're friends, France. No need to fear us. We are the gentle Russian giant. Um. Still need to make them hate us. 
Yay, interchangeable parts. Lovely. More factory throughput. 1862. Yeah, 1862. That, that means there are more cultural attacks, yes. Empiricism. Yeah, we need that. Research points. I can't delay that. We need that, and then we're going to go push onwards with tech. With industrial techs. See if we can get our factories to become somewhat valid. And we are, well, we're starting to make some gains here at the very least with the industrial score. That's good. Mongolia could be added to our sphere, apparently. But again, I don't know if you want to. You know what? Let's just do it. If we want to declare war on them, they are in our sphere and we can deal with it then. I could start a war with Kokand. Wouldn't be impossible. Anti-Colonial League. What the heck is this? Um, da -da -da -da. And when we consider the injustices wrought by representatives of the Russian Empire in the colonies, we will not be surprised to find that Russian, in those many places, far beyond our country's shores, has become a byword for theft, larceny, and murder. Our message here today is loud and clear. The Russian Empire quit the colonies. An anti-colonial league has been formed by the Russian radicals. Ostensibly dominated by the intellectuals arguing the cause of colonial independence, reports from our secret police make it evidence that the League is immediately connected with a socialist international. Oh. Denounce the League? That means all the pops that support socialists gain militancy. Ignore the League means everybody gets consciousness. Support the League means that every all the conservatives. Yeah, um, I think it's safe to say that we have more conservatives than anything else. Actually, we do have quite a bit, few socialists. Oops. Um, and we're getting quite a few old rebels here now. I'm starting to be a bit, a bit worried. Um, ignore the league. I'm just trying to keep militancy down. We'll see what happens. What about revolt risk? Revolt risk. Why don't you like me? Why must you be so revolting? Oh my. Um. Another crisis. So nobody backs Greece. Ottoman Aegean Islands. I suspect everybody will back the Ottomans. Yeah. Offer. Greece asks us to offer to back them. Um, I don't really want to do that, to be honest. We do have some gripes with Italy, but they just do not have the force to do this. Not yet. We just haven't built up our army. Um, decline. Uh, yeah, we still haven't done anything. Spain has decided to back them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wait for a moment and see who everyone else backs. Because I'm not really that interested in going to war. Ah, you did have, of course, you increased relations. Um, 
And this is gonna be difficult. Getting them in our sphere. <sighs> so Egypt, how are we gonna do this? I want to declare war, I really do, but I don't think we're gonna be able to. Squalid slum. Um, gain more liberals. Gain liberals and consciousness, or they become uh, local. Local seems fine. Goody there. North German Federation. Uh, fine. Guess we'll have to back them. I think that's best. That's all the ones on our side. I kind of want to stay safe. I'm very away, <laughs> very worried about Germany. I don't really want to fight them. If this breaks our alliance, it breaks our alliance. Uh, I'm much more worried about Egypt. Yeah, they're in the sphere of Italy, I know, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see. If they manage to get Italy out of their sphere, so they're both that friendly and it resets, we might have a window. France is included. Whoa, okay. The Ottomans have been sphered by France. Oh my. Have they decided to back anyone? No. Tension dissipate. Lovely. Let's uh, revolt risk there. Yeah, so now we're getting revolt risk in the colonies. And quite a bit of it. Well, certainly over here. My goodness. Yeah, these guys are not happy. Not happy at all. I think I'd rather sit up here, though. Give them mountains and everything. Yeah, it's only France that remains on the side. Uh, why are you... Neutral. France is leading to support Spain. Mm -hmm. Civil violence. Amhara. Okay, where's that? I know what I'm inclined to click, so... Uh... Oh, intervene eventually. Well, it's gonna cut there. <laughs> Revolt risk by a fair bit. Worth it. Oh dear, I think I might just have had a crash here. Okay, I'll take a short break and see if I can resolve this. Uh, thank you for watching.